This is the data that was collected in the Be the Data experiment today. There are columns for each of the four distributions. The rows represent each of the observations, and there were 30 observations each time. In order to do the analysis to simply get the descriptive statistics, we will run a frequencies distribution. I have placed in the selection variable each of the four variable names, and I have selected the central tendency statistics mean, median, mode, standard deviation, and variance. I've also selected getting a histogram for each one. I can make this analysis be run by clicking OK. And this is the output window. You'll see the navigation bar along the side. It shows us that we have the frequencies, and here's the statistics for each of the distributions, a frequency table for each one. I can navigate back and forth between the statistics and the tables, and then we have histograms for each one. Let's first look at the statistics. Here we have the mean, median, and mode for the blue distribution, pink distribution, red distribution, and green distribution. The mean for all four distributions was the same, and we fixed the data so that it would be. The median was also the same. The modes are different, and when we look at the frequency distributions, you will see them, but notice a little superscript that says multiple modes exist. We had multiple modes in the pink and the red. Here's the standard deviation, though, and they are very different. They range from 1.39 all the way up to 2.78. So there's a lot of difference in the dispersion. Standard deviation and variance are two measures of how spread out the data are, the, diversion, the dispersion. Here's the frequency table for blue, red, pink, green. And it tells us the exact same thing that we see when we look at the graphs. Now I'm going to make these graphs look a little prettier by changing the color of the bars. Double clicking on the graph. I get the graph editor, and then I double click on the bars, and they are highlighted. And I can go to fill, and this is a blue bar, so I want it to be a blue graph. Very nice. Here we have the pink ones do the same thing. Invoke the equation editor, select the bars, change them to as close to pink as I can get. That's not exactly pink, but it's as close as I can get. This is the red one. Double click on the bars, fill and border, change it to red, apply. Double click, fill and border. This is the green ones, apply. So now the graphs are the same color as the pieces of paper that represented the numbers. Notice the blue graph. It has a mean of 5 and a standard deviation of 1.95. This is a fairly normal distribution. A normal distribution is symmetrical, and it has the mean, median, mode all at the same place. You get this amount of dispersion. Sometimes it's called a bell-shaped curve because this looks a little bit like a bell. The pink distribution, which looks like it's going as high as the blue distribution, actually only goes to 4. This is a frequency. So there were 6 people who were representing 5, but 4 people in the pink distribution were representing three, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. This is a more flat distribution, and it's called a platycurtic distribution. It has more variance. The data are more spread out. If I wanted to change this curve, so this graph, so that it fits everything the same, then I would just double click on the axis, the y-axis, and I just changed it to have 6, as our other one did, so that we can see that it really is flatter. It's a platycurtic distribution. Same center, but a different spread. Here's the red graph. It was bimodal meaning we have two modes, 
and again I'm going to double click on the uh, Y axis and change the scale so that it goes to the same scale as the first graph. Apply it. Now they're in the same scale and you can see same middle but there's nothing in the middle but it's still the same mean. If you wanted to understand this data you really need to understand it as two distributions of the same things. Something's going on with the bimodal distribution. Finally we have the green one and I can't change the scale to be the right way because this one goes all the way up to 8 and I make it 1 to 6 oh dear so we can't do that but you can see that it's much more peaked and if I want to compare it to the normal distribution I need to go back and rescale all of these and that would be boring to watch but if it goes up to 8 then you can see the blue one compared to the green one it's much taller it's called a leptokurtic distribution and it has the same center five but it has a much less dispersion the data are all clumped up near the middle so if again we look back at the normal distribution it's more spread out platykurtic distribution is really more split, spread out The bimodal distribution seems to be representing two different things. So there you have it.